There has perhaps never been a more interesting time for higher education and research than the present. Entire continents are developing, and hundreds of millions of young people from Asia, Africa and South America will be the first in their family to study. The Netherlands is highly committed to expanding its knowledge economy. No talent must be lost, research needs to be groundbreaking, and the results should further help society and business. And finally, to solve the major issues of our time, think of the environment, urbanization and aging, all the talent and knowledge in the world is required. Dutch society is now asking higher education to raise the level of education and research without higher costs. And what can really help us in this area are the spectacular developments in the field of ICT, particularly in what is called cloud services. Software, computing power and data storage that you as an educational institution don't have to create, buy and manage yourself, but which you download from the cloud and pay for pro rata. Hopla. Cloud applications that everyone already knows, for example, YouTube, Dropbox and LinkedIn. In recent years, there are more and more cloud applications, also for the work environment. That is why more and more researchers place their data in the cloud so they can easily share information with colleagues around the world. That is why more and more teachers are placing lectures and even complete courses in the cloud. This market has such huge growth potential that all kinds of providers are developing ready-made cloud products. And that's very good news for Dutch colleges and universities. That's something for me. The more educational institutions have ICT requirements that other institutions also need, the greater the likelihood the solution will appear in the cloud, now or in the foreseeable future. Think, for example, of student tracking systems, timetable programs, or a secure electronic testing area. This creates the possibility to get better ICT technology, always up to date, with no more hassle concerning management and maintenance. No aggravation. But any major innovation always brings new risks and uncertainties. And those risks increase dramatically as every Dutch educational institution goes shopping for cloud services on its own. It's much smarter to do it together, so you can share experiences, avoid pitfalls, and pool purchasing power. That's why SURF, along with educational institutions, has examined where a joint approach could offer benefits. Here are a few examples. There's much more for sale in the cloud than most people think. But not everything is equally good. You can save time and avoid trouble if you separate the wheat from the chaff together. Share information on security issues. Who helps you examine the material when a researcher keeps unpublished research in the cloud? How do you prevent someone nosing around in payroll administration or student data? Technically speaking, cloud data is more secure than on a private server. But you have to correctly figure out who has access? And what happens if you want to leave a cloud service provider? <laughs> Providers of information technology have a habit of designing products so you can hardly ever remove it completely. Good for the provider's cash, but bad for the customer. Hmm. Therefore, it's very sensible to do thorough research before placing your signature, mm -hmm. and even better to share the results with each other. And, and the same applies to mm -hmm. copyright, mm -hmm. property rights, and other legal issues. Where the public cloud does not suffice, higher education can opt for solutions in a community cloud of institutions. <sighs> Therefore, cloud services offer higher education fantastic opportunities, and by joining forces, much more can be achieved. But no one ever reaches the promised land without a long journey through the desert. And acting together also has a price. You'll never get it exactly the way as if you had to do it all on your own. In higher education, this isn't always a good thing. Probably because of a certain quirkiness that is exactly a product of higher education. The challenge is therefore to show people the higher purpose. Because the less money spent on ICT, the more that remains for teaching and research. The more you standardize, the better you can exchange information internally or with others. The more you choose applications a lot of people use, the greater the chance such an application is being continually developed, 
so you always have the latest and the best technology at hand. Now the cloud is available, small-scale customization is in fact only suitable for a scholar who in complete isolation is researching a highly specialized topic. Once this researcher really wants to work with a scholar who is working on exactly the same subject on the other side of the world, he gets into trouble with a single customized solution. Hello. Surf collaborates with higher education institutions to make optimum use of the cloud. The institutions themselves decide which activities they participate in and to what extent. The list of interesting projects prepared by the institutions themselves includes online education, the online exchange of research data and much more. <laughs>